All right, the first thing we're gonna do is open up our browser. And I have Planning Center open. We're gonna find our song, Man of Sorrows, and download a couple of files. First, the MP3 of the song, and then the chord chart PDF. We can go ahead and close the browser. Let's open up the chord chart, take a quick look at it. What I wanna see is the key and the tempo. We can close this now. Now let's open up GarageBand and we're gonna create a project. Again, the key was D, so let's change that. There's a bug in GarageBand. I'm gonna show you that setting the tempo here doesn't actually work. Let's go ahead and create this project. And I have a keyboard that'll come up in a second as a, a MIDI controller. And I like the sound of a piano, so let me change that. It's completely personal preference. And you can see, uh, oh, let me put the MP3 over here. Now you can see the tempo is not set, so we're gonna set it here. I wanna isolate the verse, so let's find where that is. If that's the beginning, let's find the end of it. I'm gonna turn off the metronome. We want this count in for recording. All right, that's the end of the verse. We're gonna create a MIDI region in our uh, piano track here. And what this allows us to do is to record a music notation representation of this verse. Go over here to score. I'm gonna change this to treble clef. Now, as we play the keyboard, you can actually hear the effect coming through GarageBand, which is pretty neat. And because it's MIDI, it will be able to transcribe the notes as we record. Here's the count in that I said. Here we go. You can see the music notation is automatically recording. Kind of jumbled we're going to clean it up in a second i'll show you how to clean it up all right uh, let's go take a look at that here it looks pretty messy so let's go over to the let's zoom out first let's go over to the grid and set it to eighth notes that's much cleaner okay Now, what you can do is you can listen to it real quick, see how it sounds. That's good. Now, what I like to do is try to play chords over it, see if I can hear what the melody is implying. You're going to hear me make a mistake here in a second. It's coming up. There, that doesn't sound right. So let's go to the PDF, take a look again. Ah, it's a B minor. I have to go back to the B minor, not the D. Okay, so let me try that again. And here comes the mistake. Right here. Okay, good. That sounds much better. Okay, great. So I now have the melody transcribed and I can practice along either chords or bass or whatever I need. But I find that memorizing the melody is the easiest thing for me in a song and the chords uh, come much easier after I have that memorized. So I hope this helps. Uh, let me know what you guys think and best of luck with your worship practice.